Hello everyone and welcome back to Alex Elliott Golf. This week's tip is coming from Ashton in Makerfield Golf Club and we're on the fifth hole here today. We're going to talk about how close to stand to the golf ball. So how far we stand from the golf ball can affect a few things in the golf swing. It can affect our posture, it can affect in turn our swing plane, it can either be very upright swing plane or too flat, which again can, co can cause different shot outcomes, whether that be a slice off to the right or a draw off to the left. So depending on the club that you have will determine how far you stand from the golf ball, whether that be a pitching wedge, six iron, which I have here, or a driver. The longer the club, the further I will be away from the golf ball. But the key thing to remember is, let's always be athletic, let's give us our best Rory McIlroy posture, nice and athletic to give us the best chance of nice rotation in the backswing and nice rotation on the follow through. So let's run through a nice simple drill we can use in order to get the distance from the golf ball correct. Let's firstly put our hands out in front of us. Now you see a lot commonly a lot of people stood like this in the golf swing. Now this definitely is disconnected at address by the reaching for the golf ball and this can cause a very upright swing path because we're very hunched over limiting our rotation making it very picked up with the arms. So let's run through this tip and talk about the effects and causes it can have in the golf swing. Hands out in front of us, but then we're going to lower them so they're on our chest now. Drop it so the golf club is nicely towards the ground. So it's still in the weight in your hands, but it's not going all the way down and it's not held up in the air. Let's run through that again. Hands up, drop to the rest on the side of your chest or the side of your body and then just drop the golf club slightly so it's parallel to the ground. Right, you'll notice my legs are still straight at this present time. My hands are dropped to the parallel to the ground, my arms on the side of the body. From here, all I've got to do is tilt from my waist. Tilt, 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 until my golf club hits the ground. Now you'll notice my legs are still straight. From there, all we've got to do is soften the legs, feel like we're perched on that kitchen stool, and now we're in the correct posture for my six iron and the correct distance away. So let's just run through that from the top. Straight legs, hands out in front of us. We're gonna drop the arms until they're on the side of the chest or the side of the body. Drop the wrists so the golf club is parallel to the ground. From there, we're gonna tilt from our hips until the golf club hits the ground. Soften the legs. Now we're in a nice athletic posture, the correct distance away. And you'll notice there's about a hand span between my belt buckle and the butt of my club. From here you can see I've got a nice straight line in my back. Now the key thing about this is if I had very hunched over posture which we were talking about before this would create a very upright swing path. If I was stood too close to the golf ball this would create a very flat swing path and swing arc around me. Again causing shots that could be off to the left or off to the right whereas now we've got a nice athletic posture giving us the best chance to swing this golf club on plane on the way back nicely into impact and on playing on the way through. So again when we're practicing all I've got to do is shuffle into my shot and now hit the shot. Really nice shot, exactly the shot I desired. Centered contact because I stood the correct distance away and gave me the best chance of swinging that golf club on playing. Thank you for watching this week's tip on Alex Elliott Golf. Hopefully now you can stand the correct distance from the golf ball with your pitching wedge, your six iron or your driver. Run through all those key checkpoints. Arms out in front of you, bend the wrists, tilt from the hips, soften the legs, perfect posture, athletic, correct straight back, give us the best chance to swing that golf club on plane. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with everything Alex Elliott Golf. Thank you for watching.